I'm Stephen with Tourism Lethbridge, and I'm here at Mortar and Brick Art and Events, and I am joined by... Amethyst First Rider. And... Leroy Little Bear. So let's start. Uh, Amethyst, you are the curator of this event? Yes, I am. What uh, inspired you to put this together? Well, for many years, um, Leroy and I and a number of other people from our community have been working on buffalo restoration. And so one evening over supper, we were talking with Cheryl and she, she said, would you like to do an exhibit on buffalo? And I said, mm, sure, that sounds great. So that was how we got to uh, organize the exhibit. Okay, buffalo are very important. Can you, Leroy, maybe talk about that, the importance of the buffalo? Buffalo is a keystone animal, both ecologically speaking and culturally speaking. It's central to our land on the plains, the all other plants and animals really rely on that buffalo. And our people also rely on that animal, not only for sustenance, but also culturally. Our songs, our stories, our ceremonies are all related to this animal. So it's very, very important to us. As Amethyst said, we've been working now for several years on buffalo restoration, trying to bring it back so that our young people will begin to make the connection about where, what are those songs about? Mm -hmm. What are those stories about? What are those ceremonies about? We hear them, we do them, we sing those songs, but what are we singing about? Yeah. Well, it's that buffalo that's the center of those, those events and so on. So that's the importance of that buffalo. Okay. And Amethyst, uh, speaking of the importance, there's, there's such a diversity of the type and the range of art in this show. Um, how did you go about choosing and, and picking? Well, we, um, we, we sent out a call to many different artists. There was none that said, no, we, we, we can't do it or we won't do it. In fact, many of the artists uh, created new pieces for this um, exhibit. And I think that it's, a testimony to all the creativity in our community and in the Native community about artists and how they express through their artwork their relationship with the land. And so this exhibit really is about the interconnectedness with all the different uh, people, the artists' relationship with land. And as you see, there's some political pieces, there's some playful pieces, there's some on hoof to ground pieces that show uh, buffalo. So it was very uh, exciting. It was very moving for me, even to see the pieces that were sent in. I think that if anything reflects native culture, it's art. Absolutely. And one of the keystone pieces of this exhibit is the uh, 13 Moons by Alex Janvier. Can you talk about that? Well, we were so fortunate to be able to bring down Alex Chandry. And of course, he's one of our Canadian national treasures. And so to, to be able to have his piece was such a gift. And he does a lot of work in also with relationships. So his exhibit, 13 Moons, is talking about all that relationship between the sky, the earth, and all the seasons, all the happenings in those 13 moons. So it's very much, it, it's something that you'd have to sit in. I think it's beautiful that they created a very sacred space for us to enter. And in entering that sacred space, we start to see almost that nighttime looking up in the sky and looking at all the different patterns in the stars you get to see all the different patterns and relationships and stories in his artwork we're all part of this landscape so i'm hoping that you know people that visit lethbridge will also know that there's a lot of beautiful art uh, in lethbridge that reflects native culture okay 
It's a beautiful show, it's thought-provoking, and it's very grounding, and everyone should come and check it out. It runs until the end of May.